If I'm new to making pizza, do you recommend baking in a pan or should I go right to using a pizza stone or steel? This is awesome as well. A lot of people that know me know that I started making pan pizzas at a very young age. We talk about on the East Coast, the grandma style pizza. That's the pizza that I fell in love with first. I can remember from as early as I can remember, my grandmother and my mother taking these beat up old war, worn out trays that weren't anything special. They were very cheap tin aluminum material, but that was what they used to make these pizzas. The great thing about using a pan is that we put a very fine coating of oil into the bottom of that pan, and then we start to press that dough into the pan. We cover it with some plastic wrap, or my grandmother would use a damp kitchen towel on top of it, and we would let it raise for maybe about an hour, and then we would start to press it again. We'd continue doing that process until it reached the edges of the pan. Once it reached the edges of the pan, she would already start putting her, her tomato sauce and cheese or whatever else was gonna go on top of that pizza and would bake it. If you're looking for the biggest bang for your buck at home, using a pan and that method I just described, that thin coat of olive oil underneath that dough and between the pan and the dough is almost gonna give this fried texture to that dough. So you're gonna get this beautiful crispy pizza. And that's the thing I love about using pan at home, especially uh, at home or if you're in a pizzeria and you only have the ability to make one pizza, my personal preference would be go ahead and find yourself a great pan. Now, if you say, I don't wanna do a pan or I've made pan pizzas and now I'm ready to start exploring other styles, that's when I would tell you, start making dough balls. Get into the habit of working on pressing out your dough. This is one of those things that's going to take you a while to start stretching out dough properly. I get a lot of questions and a lot of troubleshooting comments on my dough seems really tough or dense or chewy because I stretch the dough a certain way. Most of the time, if your dough that you hand stretched and you know that dough has came out beautifully and you mixed it the right way and everything else was great, if you see that there's these problem spots when you bake it, most of the time it's because you manhandled it or woman handled it, however you want to refer to it. And it's really about the way that you pushed out that dough. I will be following up soon and making some videos on the proper method for stretching dough at home as well as for all you bakers and getting into your first pizzeria or baking, whatever you're doing on the professional level, I'll give you some great tips. These are all videos that I will be doing in the future, but if I had to say which is my personal favorite, definitely a pan pizza, because it reminds me of my grandma, and I think that it gives you the best pizza at home. It's not supposed to look perfect, but I think that's what makes it great because it's so crispy, it's so light, there's no way to really screw it up because it's all in a pan. You stick it inside the oven and you don't need any other equipment other than just a pan.